Hey folks and welcome back to the mountain. It's another beautiful day up here in lovely New Hampshire. A little muggy, kind of warm. Very muggy, very warm. Okay, very muggy, very warm. But that's okay. We deal with it. I don't complain about our summers and the heat because of our winters. Because all winter long we wait for this. Mm -hmm. So, but that's okay. All right, so we got a little bit of work to do today. We got to clean the goat barn. I don't know if you can see behind me there, but it's kind of messy. Then we got to walk over there. Oh, you can't see it, it's hidden. But there's a chicken coop over there. We got to clean that out too. And if you look at my hat, hopefully, weather permitting, we'll get the wood miser going and we'll cut up those three logs that we couldn't cut up last week because the tractor was broken. It's fixed now by yours truly. So we'll get that going and uh, get this done. Get some work done. Okay, it's at the door. Unfortunately, there's only enough room in that stall for one person to work, so Joey's been in there working. That's the baby stall. Cleaning that out first. Pieces of what? Go poop. Poop. There we are. The stalls are all cleaned out. Now we'll put down some uh, barn white and some more straw. In case you hadn't seen, this is the gate that we made that we can separate the two stalls with. Just like that. It works wonderfully. Well, we can open it all the way up, which we'll probably do this winter. So that the goats have just one big stall. So when we come over here, you'll look, it'll just be one big stall. So it'll work wonderfully. All right, the barn white is spread down. And now we're just putting some straw down for the goats. Let's put this down. It stops the heat that way. We find if we use hay, the goats eat it all, and they get really full and fat <laughs> really quick. So we put down straw, they don't eat that. We did that last year, we put down hay, and they just came in here and just ate and ate and ate and gorged themselves on it. It was kind of funny. And their little bellies were sticking way out. Okay. Okay. 
And there we are. Everybody is back in the barn. Hello, girls. Diana and Nubia. Look at Nubia's eyes. She is. She's a sweetie. And Zan and Jaina. And their stall. We gave them some treats. So there they go. Nice clean barn. We're going to leave the doors open for a little bit. Air it out. Now it's on to the chicken coop. Well, I didn't show you the dirty coop, but, you know, the coop's all clean now. So you can look in there and see we got it all clean. Everything no, looks good. Here's the chickies. Now, Hilda's been with the flock for a week today. And uh, we haven't been free-ranging the chickens at all since she's been here. We wanted her to get used to the coop and the, the run and the she's other chickens. The she's actually way in the back right now. But we're going to go ahead and free-range them today. And uh, hopefully she makes it back. So, usually in the afternoon, the chickens all line up at the gate anyway. But today, we're going to see what happens. Oh, they're not coming out. That's okay. Alright, so, folks, we've gone ahead and uh, got a new little tool for the channel. Some people call it a toy. I call it a tool. What do you call it, Joey? Toy. She says it's a toy. So, it's a drone. We got a little drone here. And we're going to go ahead and use this as I'm on the sawmill today. Focusing on it. I'm going to go ahead and turn it on. Okay. Okay, so we had to do a little switching around there, but we got it. We got 15 um, satellites, so we're going to go ahead and get this set up. It's right here. All right, folks, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it right there and it's going to hopefully sit there and watch the sawmill. So let's go ahead and get started. Joey's going to... And the drone's going to record me. So let's watch this. It should be fun. Thank you. 
Okay, folks, so there's four two by sixes out of that one. Uh, I got a, looks like I got one I can cut into a one. Other than that, that one's done. Two more logs to go. Joey landed that drone perfect, man, right on that log. That was awesome. I'll make a nice one by six. Joey, that part. Tim wants to keep all his to burn in his furnace. Whew. Okay, folks, so you've seen us cut a lot. We're gonna keep cutting, and uh, we'll show you what, to, what we've cut up when we're done. I'm gonna go get some wood! Having a sawmill. Love having my own lumber yard. It's awesome. You really should try it. Everybody should have one. Joey's holding the camera and she's got no idea what I'm saying right now because she can't hear me. So. La 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 la. La -de -da -da. Another log on the mill. We'll cut this one up. We'll show you what we get. Alright folks, we just finished up those three logs. I wound up with nine two by sixes, six two by fours, um, three one by fours, a couple one by nines. I think there's a one by six in there too. That's what we got out of those three logs. So uh, he said he needed like eight two by sixes I got him nine so he's good there he's got a bunch of two by fours to build with too so that's it it's another day with the sawmill um, hopefully the drone footage come out good we were kind of really hoping that that does um, just we thought it'd be something neat for the channel so that's about it uh, for today um, well really quick our meat birds did not come in last week hopefully they come in this week so there'll be a couple videos there of us getting the brooder finished and then putting the 40 birds in there and uh, we got a couple more projects to do after that, too. It's going to be fun. It's going to be a good summer. As you can see, I am soaking wet and full of sawdust. i got to go get cleaned up. Um, people are coming to get their lumber. They're bringing their grandkids over to see the goats. So i got to get cleaned up because we got company coming. i got to look presentable, and I will. So subscribe to our channel. You know you want to.
Tell your friends and neighbors about us. Our neighbors watch us. They like our, our, our videos. And they still associate with us. Imagine that. So tell your friends and neighbors about us. Share our videos if you want. Subscribe. Ring the bell. Give us a thumbs up if you like it. Tell us what you want to see, what you don't want to see. And as always, from the mountain, God bless, folks.